people are surrounded by scent all the time. Especially in modern life, because everything is so scented, everything is so perfumed. I mean, we could just for fun count how many scented products we use every day. And it will start normally in the shower with shower gel, shampoo, hair conditioner. There's three products, uh, shaving products. Perfumery encompasses many different uh, areas um, of expertise. Big companies, for example, a, a huge part of their work is their evaluation departments. And so they will have, for example, evaluators that work only in deodorants and they evaluate everything on the market. It's massive scale, the world of perfumery. The synthetic musks are a group of molecules that some people can't smell. When I first started studying with synthetics, I couldn't smell the musks because they're quite big heavy molecules. That's why they're harder to, to register. They're less volatile than some of the more uh, diffusive molecules. Um, some people will never smell them. They're anosmic to musk molecules. So how to smell? People, when they smell, they go and they bring all of this air into their sinuses. Right away, you're going to completely saturate your, your sense of smell, your receptors. So what I talk to people ab about how to smell is to just gently bring air in until just until you register the scent. And it actually isn't far. Like you have the impression it sort of goes into here. And you stop, you s evaluate the smell, and then you breathe out. It makes a huge difference. I find it's much more sensitive and you also don't become saturated. Um, sometimes if you have a hard time smelling a material, you can try putting it on your skin and smelling it and stay practicing it until you uh, are able to register it. You can develop the ability to smell the materials. The understanding is that the receptors um, is how we smell. It's the molecules that are received by the receptors and signals are sent to the brain which tell us what we're smelling. So you see often uh, in perfumery stores and so on, they have coffee beans, and that's sort of a typical method to cleanse your sense of smell. But it, it doesn't, actually. The scent from the coffee replaces the ones that are already in your sinuses. <laughs> the better thing to do is to breathe into a scarf, your own scarf, or breathe into your own clothing. And that is a familiar smell. It's the, the scent of yourself, and that will cleanse, sort of reset your receptors. Musk molecules are used extensively in perfumery. Over several years, I suddenly started to be able to smell them, and with time, they started to become actually quite strong. And I think anyone could learn to be a perfumer as long as you possess the, the one most important thing that will carry you through the years of, of training, and that is passion for the art of perfumery itself.